got all the news right here. Don't go away. Hey guys, it is February 16th, 2022, and we have a lot to go over. We have seven updates and 23 new mods. And uh, out of those 23 new mods, quite a few of them are placeable. So let's get into the updates. Now, unfortunately, I can't remember what all the updates are because for some reason, again, the mod hub um, isn't letting me see the descriptions. But the updates are No Man's Land, the Deutsche Forest Series 7, the TTV, and Series 8 TTV, New Holland BR6090, and the Case RB344. The JCB 325T, the Case IH 7200 series, the Flegel DPW pack, and the Stone Crushing Lion production all have updates today. So, let's hop on over to the store and take a look at the new mods. First mod we're going to take a look at today is the MAN TGX 26640 platform. This is going to be 8.63 megabytes to download and install. It's going to take 11 slots. It's going to cost $135,000. So, design, we have standard, we have grids, wait a minute, sometimes it's a little tricky figuring out, okay, so we have over the headlights there, standard, we have grids, horns, grids and horns, and back to standard. Beacons. There's a couple different styles of beacons here, I guess. We have standard, then we have one, two, three, four, five, and back to standard. Main color, you could choose any of these. Of course, from color, we have chrome, silver, black. Man, what was man? Man blue three. Let's let's do that. That actually looks pretty good. And you can have your license plates, and that's a uh, kind of a flatbed truck there. I, I like that. That's that's good for hauling bales and stuff. Definitely more for UK based maps. Definitely don't see anything like this in America. Don't see too many cab overs in America. It's funny. I was just uh, I was talking to my dad about that just recently. That like in the eighties. And, and longer than that, you used to see cab overs, but not so much anymore. Well, that is the MAN TGX 26640 platform. Next up, we have the Robert Straw Pack. This is going to be 37.78 megabytes to download and install. And what we have here is we have a couple of bale shredders and we have a couple of TMR mixtures. So, the first up is the P2200. This is going to take up seven slots. It's going to cost $51,000. And it doesn't... Tell me how many bales it holds. I'm going to assume it holds two. It, it looks like it should hold two. Then we have the Hydropel 2 GT Evo. This is going to take six slots. This costs $14,900. And the funny thing is, this is actually showing it holds loose, loose straw. But I am almost positive that this is for round bales let's take a look at that um in the store i do not have time to go over these too extensively here we have the volumix 2-30p seventy thousand dollars going to take up eight slots thirty thousand liters not bad and then we have the bmv 33 coming at twenty thousand and wait this seems like this holds an awful lot more than just what you need to make TMR. Takes up three slots, holds 3.3 thousand liters. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's take a look at the P2200 in the store here. So basically we have, without extensions, and with extensions, and you know, now that I look at this, This could easily hold probably four bales without the extensions, I would say. And with the extensions, maybe six bales. I could be wrong, but I wouldn't be surprised. This is actually quite the large, quite the large bale shredder. 
Okay, so there's the P2200. Next up, we have the Hydro Pail. And, ooh, you know what? Yeah, this definitely looks like this is for round bail. So we have with short extension, with long extension, and with door. So let's say with, hmm, I don't know, man. With long extension, possibly two round bales could fit in there. But uh, I'm, I'm not sure. That's the Hydropel 2 GT Evo. Here's the Evo you mix. So we have options. We have standard. We have watering. We have tube. We have tube plus watering. So I have no idea what that means. Do we have to fill that, that little water tank up? And what does that actually do? So distribution we have without conveyor. And then we have with conveyor. And rear option is without option. Then we have with chest, with spreading. Interesting. Very interesting. That's the Volumix 2-30P. Last one in this pack is the BMV 33. Uh, there's no configurations in here. And this is definitely a mixture. But uh, this is an interesting one. Anyway, that's the Robert pack. Next up, we have the Cargo XK18, 8.71 megabytes to download and install, takes up five slots, $30,665. This is a tipper. It'll hold damn near everything. So let's take a look at this one. Configuration, capacity, we have 23.3 thousand liters. Then we have 27 thousand liters. And we have 32 and a half thousand liters. And we have back down to the, the standard capacity. We'll brand, we have Trellerborg, we have Michelin, Nokians, Midas, BKT, Bet Trellerborg, wheel setup, we have standards, we have wides, and we can change that also on the Midas, standards, and wides. That's the Cargo XK18. Next up is the Kuhn Cytera Pack, 8.68 megabytes to download install. We have a couple of cedars and a subsoiler. A small subsoiler, uh, as a matter of fact, three meters. So we have the Cetera 3000, $26,500, going to take up five slots. Going to require 120 horsepower to operate, 780 liters of seeds. We have the Cetera 4000 at $38,000, five slots, 150 horsepower, 1,080 liters of seeds. So this is a four meter, and this is a three meter to work with. And there are no configure. Configuration options, uh, configuration, oh, geez, take a pause right here. There's no configuration options for any of these. Take a look at them in the store here. And we can see you can't change the color. You can't do anything with them. So that is the Kuhn Cytera Pack. Next up, we have the CSZ Implements Pack, or as they say over the UK, the CSZ. <laughs> um, this is not the pack I've been hoping for. I've been hoping for the pack that they have the... Uh, the bell forks and stuff like that with the, uh, the bell grab. God, I love that. I, I miss that so much in the game. So with this one here, oh, I should tell you, it's uh, 9.50 megabytes to download and install. So we have the adapter, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this will let you use any three-point tool on your telehandler. So that's uh, that's actually pretty handy. $1,300 for that. One slot. So we have the cage. $700. Takes up two slot. Um, I'm not really sure <laughs> what this is for. If we go in here, it says attacher type. So three-point front loader, telehandler, wheel loader. Capacity, big bags, two pieces, tanks. So I'm not quite sure if this is something that will auto-load big bags and tanks. I'm not sure what tanks are, like possibly the diesel tanks that we have, but that's a mod. So I'm really not sure what this does. Um, I remember in FS19, this was kind of 
something that you could get in to kind of like, uh, you know, simulate cutting down higher trees or, or whatnot. You could kind of do that. Okay, so next up we have the Dozer Blade. Three meters, uh, takes up one slot, $3,500. And again, three-point telehandler, wheel loader. We could do all that. This Dozer Blade, is it going to be any different? $3,500, three meters. Now, wait a minute. What are the difference between these two? Of course, you could do all that. I'm not really sure. They're both the same exact price. I'm not really sure what the difference is with these. Got that one there. Yeah, I mean, these look identical. And then we have this. This says a purely decorational object. This is a mixer. $1,000 takes up two slots. I remember this from FS19. And again, we could change that to, to anything like that there. I thought this was like a mixer for TMR for some reason. I forgot exactly how it worked. But, uh, yeah, that's the CSZ Implements Pack. <laughs> Oh, man, it's going to be a long day. Here we have the Mick, Mickey Aletto AM19. This is going to be 6.00 megabytes to download and install. Takes up four slots. $67,500. It is an animal carrier. Can hold 30 cows, 51 pigs, 51 sheep, and 14 horses. Not too bad. Let's take a look at this one. So we'll set up. We have standard and we have whites. Main color, we can change the main color like that. Hey, that's that doesn't look too bad. Design color, let's see here what we can do. Do that there. Rim color, ah, uh, we can't do our we can't do our chrome. Dang, not too bad. I like it. it looks pretty good. That's the Mickey Leto AM nineteen. Here we have the Class Liner 500 Profi L coming at 5.31 megabytes to download and install. This is a wind drawer. $12,297, 4.8 meters work width. Takes up three slots. Going to take 45 horsepower to operate this. And again, we have for configurations the wet set ball. To, blah, weight set balls. Oh my God, my mouth just isn't working today. Yes. And no, I'm guessing that's some kind of counterweight or, or something. I, I have no idea. Anyway, that is the class Liner 500 Profi L. Next up, we have the Vader Stat Carrier XL825. This is a Disc Harrow. $75,000. Uh, did I say? No, 9.56 megabytes. Did I say that? Well, if I didn't say it there, I just said it. Uh, it goes to cover six slots. It has a 8.3 meter work width. It's going to take 340 horsepower to operate this, $75,000. And no configurations. That is the Vetterstat Carrier XL825. Next up, we have the Horse Cruiser 12XL. This is a shallow cultivator. This is going to be 16.75 megabytes to download and install. $89,000, 12 meter work width. It's going to take up 12 slots. 500 horsepower to to pull this bad boy around. This is a serious, serious cultivator here. So we'll bring, we have Treller Borgs, BKT, and back to Treller Borgs. And you can't change the wheel setup. That's the Horsch Cruiser 12 XL. Here we have the Lizard N012. This is going to be 3.27 megabytes to download and install. It's going to cost $750. It's going to take up two slots. It's got a 10 meter work width. This is going to take between 251 and 330 liters. This is a fertilizer spreader. And, uh, okay, it's one of these again. So we have the capacity, 251, 330. Looks like that. Design, none. Covered WPM. Covered disc. Both covers. Attachers, we have standard. Trailer plus hitch. Back to Standard. Main color, we could select any one of these. That is the Lizard N012. 
Here we have the Lizard Adapter SR coming in at 1.63 megabytes to download and install. $350 takes up two slots. This is actually pretty cool because what you could do is you could put this on any of your implements and you can pick up your your uh, headers or anything like that and move them around with your front loaders or telehandlers or anything like that. So this is something that's very cool and something that's probably going to end up being on my Let's Play for Camsden Farm. Main color, we can change it to anything here like that there. That is the Lizard Adapter 5R. Okay, I thought it was the SR, but it's the Adapter 5R. All right. Next up, we have the Lizard KAL3M, or I call it the Lizard Com. <laughs> it comes in at 3.11 megabytes to download the install. $3,500, two slots, 1,400 liters. Um... This is a fertilizer spreader. It does not have a work with. Does it say in here? It still doesn't. It doesn't tell us to work with. So we'll set up. We have wide tires and we have standard. Main color. We can. Oh, that's a new one. We can have it orange. Design color. We can do that there. Room color. Something like that. Very strange that it doesn't tell you to work with this thing. But that's the, uh, the Lizard KL3M. Last up in the shop is the Elho JM2 Round Bale Fork. This is going to be 1.03 megabytes to download and install. Two slots, holds one bale, $450. Tetra type, we have three point front loader. And that's it. That is the Elho JM2. Good lord, that's a lot to get through. Now, we have to get to the placeables. God help me. Alright guys, so I, I kind of had to redo this whole part of the video here because there was a little bit of confusion on my part. Um, so, <laughs> let's, uh, let's try to get into this again, shall we? So what we have here is the industrial bakery. This is going to be 1.81 megabytes to download and install. I think this is like, God, I want to say 23 slots. I'm sorry, I had to place these. I had to get out of the game and, and get something else. Um, so we have that. We have the snowman pack here. I think these these, these are all like one slot. Um, placeable snowman, 0 0.28 megabytes to download and install. Now, there was confusion for me because when you go into the build mode here, let's just bring this up. It does not tell me what mods are. It doesn't tell me anything like that. So, I have to kind of guess because in the uh, the mod hub, it's not giving me a description again. So, what we have before us, those three buildings there, those are with the French, <laughs> the French farm buildings. Okay, the French front building is going to be 11.03 megabytes to download and install. And also, these here sheds are also included in with that French, that, the French building pack. Oh, God, right? I, I hope I'm right about this, guys. If I'm not, I apologize. So... Also in the French building pack, we have a silo. Um, I think it's this one right here. $30,000 takes up two slots. Yes, this is in the, uh, the French building pack. You know, this build menu is fine, but it's very confusing when you're looking for mods because it doesn't tell you what this is like. It says silo stone. Like, it, it should say French silo, right? These buildings should say French building one, French building two. You know, something like that. Um, also, I don't know if it's a container. It is. It's a container. Okay, so we have a buying station. $10,000 takes up five slots. Uh, we'll put that there. It. I want to say... It's a buying station for seeds. So let's take a look here. 
Yeah, definitely seeds. What was that? Come on, where's the trigger? Oh, for the love of God. It's just not my day today. I was so close to it. Um, wait. Oh, uh... Okay, so apparently this is one that you just pull up to and buy. You don't have to actually fill it. So that that's pretty cool. Um, so we have another buying station over here. This is... Let me find it. I am all turned around now, guys. I do apologize for this. Where is this thing? This is a stone selling station. 0 0.09 megabytes. And... This is underselling points, $750. It only takes up one slot regardless. Um, over here we have concrete dividers, 0 0.06 megabytes to download and install. That's under decorations. Uh, this ramp is part of the French building pack. And if we go into here, under farmhouses... Are these these here? Yeah, these are these are these here. These don't have a sleep trigger. Those are the the French farm buildings. And then we have the old farm pack. Which I think are here. Okay, so this actually has a sleep trigger, so that's that one there. And this is that one there. So that has to be with the old farm. But guys, if I'm wrong on this, I apologize. And feel free to correct me in the comments. Like I say, with the fact that the mod browser, uh, mod browser, the mod hub isn't giving me anything. And this doesn't help me at all. Country farmhouse. There's no country farm pack today. It's the French. Like, these should say French farmhouses. These should say old farmhouses you know what i mean just to make it easier on me so like in reality we're just going to skip over these things man because it's just it's not worth it to, to spend all this time going over these things um also this building here i believe is with the old farm pack oh my god we're not even over there Some days I ask myself, is it really worth it doing these mod videos? I swear to God. <laughs> oh, some days I, I, I absolutely love doing them, and other days like today, it's just such a hassle. So, here's this here. What is that? Can you open that? No? Okay. So, this is also with the, uh, the old farm pack, I, I believe. I don't really know. Let's just say it is. Okay, so moving on from there... Let's open this back up, and... Okay, now we have porch roof. So we have a 7 meter porch roof. Takes up two slots, $2,000. 2500 for the 13 meter. Those, that takes up two slots. 2700 for the 16 meters. That's going to take up three slots. 18 meters, 2900 takes up three slots. Six meter takes up two slots. Now, I'm guessing that you can build off of... Yeah, you can. You can build these off of other buildings. Like that there. That's pretty cool. And what does this one do? This is actually just a roof extension. So, ah. Okay, so I don't know exactly. Let's possibly turn it this way and put it off the side of the building, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think that's... Nope, that's not how it goes either. I have no idea how this one works, guys. 
Um, yeah, like... Yeah, just do something like that there. And, uh, I mean, it's not perfect. But if you want to fiddle with it, I imagine you could get it exactly how you want it. That one doesn't look too bad. Again, the rotating tool of this doesn't work that great. All right, guys. So for the sake of time, we're going to try to get through this one as fast as possible. I'm not going to show everything. It's the modular BGA 73.95 megawatts to download install. Basically, you have everything to create your very own BGA. You have all of these. I'm not going to go through all these as it is. This video is going to be probably the longest mod review video that I have done so far at FS22. Um, the final one that we have is under decorations, under fences, should be at the uh, very end here. So we have, so we have the fence. Do that like that. And then we have the gate here. Where did it go? There we go. Like that there. And that is the fence and gate CME001. This is going to be 0 0.26 megabytes to download and install and the uh, the gate opens just like that good clean animation um, closing it however is a little tricky nice creaking sound effects all right guys those are the mods for today I hope I didn't miss any if I did I do apologize there, there's so many to go through and honestly these placeables these are getting to be pretty daunting. I mean, I am almost tempted to just do one of these at a time just so I know what's in there because the way they have it now, I really wish they'd fix that. I really wish they would change it where they let us know what are mods in there and what they, just, just do a better job. Like, calling these just farmhouses? Call them French farmhouses, for crying out loud, so we know which is which. You know, if you're not going to fix the mod hub... To give us the description, then for the love of God, give us something in-game so we know what we're working with. All right, little mini ran over. I apologize, guys, for that. Um, I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time.